Hello guys, welcome back once again. Before us uh, is a beautiful exponential equation and then we have to find the value of x. So if you have x to the power of 12 minus, it's 1 to the power of x equal to 0. What will be the value of x? Uh, so let's see how this uh, is done. So first we have solution. I bring down the question x to the power of 12 minus, it's 1 to the power of x equal to 0. Alright. So now, what I need to do is to isolate uh, it's 1 to the power of x. That's minus it's 1 to the power of x. I have simply moved that to the right-hand side. So the equation becomes x to the power of 12 equal to 81 to the power of x. All right. Now, on the left, I want to eliminate the power 12. And to do that, I simply multiply the powers on both sides by 1 over 12. That is the reciprocal of 12. So I have x to the power of 12. Now multiplied the power by 1 over 12 equal to 81 to the power of x. Now multiply the same power by 1 over 12. And then of course I'm going to apply this law that if I have a to the power of m all to the power of n. This is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. Yes, uh, so simply multiply out the powers. So 12 multiplied by 1 over 12. So here I'm going to get x raised to power 12 over 12 equal to it's 1 to the power of x multiplied by 1 over 12. That would give us x over 12. x over 12. All right, so once that is done, so here I have x. x equal to 81 to the power of x over 12. Now, I also want to eliminate this x. The x on the uh, right hand side, this x, and I want to eliminate it. And to do that, I will need to multiply the powers on both sides by 1 over x. So I have x to the power of 1 multiplied by 1 over x equal to 81 to the power of x over 12 then the same power multiplied by 1 over x so that I have x to the power of 1 over x on the left and then this x cancels out the x so we have equal to 81 to the power of 1 over 12 alright now if we look at the right hand side we can further simplify 81 to the power of 1 over 12 to so give us, on the left I have 1 over x equal to, so I'm going to write it 1 as 3 to the power of 4, all to the power of 1 over 12. So now I'm going to apply the same law here. Okay, this same law. I'm going to apply it on the right. So I have x to the power of 1 all over x equal to 3, then this Powers multiply out, so I have 4 times 1 over 12. Of course, 4 here 1, 4 here 3. So, the answer, uh, what I'm going to be getting now, so what I'm going to be getting now will be, what I will get is now um, x to the power of 1 over x equal to equal to um, 3 to the power of 1 over 3. Having simplified that from that end over there. So at the end of the day, you will see that the, the, the left hand side is looking similar to the right hand side. And then I'm going to apply this law to finally get what the value of x should be. If I have a to the power of a equal to b to the power of b, then this means that A will be equal to B. Basis are equal, powers are equal. Alright, so if I go ahead and apply this. First, let's look at the base. X equal to 3. Okay, that's comparing base. The base on both sides. If we go ahead again and compare the powers of both sides, Comparing the power on both sides, 
we will also see that one, we will see that 1 over x will be equal to 1 over 3, which, <coughs> which means that x equal to 3. So there you have it, guys. The equation is solved. x equal to 3. So please watch, learn, subscribe, comment, and of course share my video. And I'll see you next time around.